here? We are. And we met Ben and Marty, and I met with Majority Leader Hoyer's policy director with the blessing of the chief of staff. And folks, it's lined up. We're going to win. We're going to get a vote in the United States House, hopefully. So, we're a little out of order. Wayne, are you on a two o'clock spring no, or a three? No, I'm okay with you. You're okay. I want Ben to come up here and talk yeah. about his grandfather in a minute. But that's what we're doing here. And we met with the majority leader and we delivered letters to Ms. Pelosi because she said she would help. And you know what? Everybody's helping. If we stay the course, if we work together, and that gentleman came here to earlier today, he's going to get a vote. He's going to get a vote. And once we get a roll call vote in the U.S. House of Representatives, trust me, we're on the street. We're in Tennessee. We know what that will do. I can go to the city council in Shelbyville. A vote in the United States Congress is pretty compelling. It's pretty dispositive. It's going to set the stage for winding it up. Ben, would you come up here? Sure. Let's see. We're going to have to you, you come here, first, and then I'll, and I'll stood out. Okay, okay, I'll come first. Yeah. Pretty wild. Uh, thank you, Clint. Uh, on behalf of the Tidings family, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. This means so much to our family, but especially my late grandfather. My name is Benjamin Tidings Smith, and I'm championing these efforts because my grandfather cared deeply about this issue for most of his life. Granddad was a horseman. He grew up riding. He rode horses in McDonough School in Baltimore and was hugely involved in reconstruction efforts in Germany, riding horseback throughout the country once the war was over. In fact, he was so in love with his horse that we researched the horse's name was Wahoo. He wanted to bring it back to the States, which his parents adamantly said no. Unfortunately, uh, excuse me, uh, I uh, backtrack here. My grandfather was riding horses late into his 80s. In my opinion, horses and these efforts to protect them were a part of who he was. All of his children are riders and his nephew is one of the leading steeplechase trainers in the country. The issue of protecting Tennessee walking horses is one of his true passions in life. We're so thrilled and appreciative of all the efforts and lengths that Clint and his team have gone through to help this effort come to fruition. Personally, this is a huge honor for me in the, small of way, in the smallest of ways to try and carry out something that my grandfather cared so deeply about. Thank you.